The glow effect is one of the most impactful effects, and in Blender, it's one of the easiest to do. Start by deleting the default cube. Shift A to add, and select something that you want to make glow. I'll use something simple, like a cube. Then, let's go over to the shader tab. Add a new material, and name it something like glow material. On the emission color, change it to bright and increase the emission strength. And voila, it doesn't look all too impressive at the moment, but all we need to do is tick this bloom button under the render editor tab. Ooh, pretty. From here, we can tweak things like the radius, the intensity, and the color of the bloom. If you want to change the color of the glowing object itself, you can do that in the material shader. Okay, but let's do something a little more useful. I'll delete this and set up a new scene to do this for part of a 2D image. Reset the camera rotations and positions. Shift A to add a plane mesh. Rotate it and resize it to match the aspect ratio of the image you want to use. Set the camera type to orthographic. Zero on the numpad to get the camera view and scale the image to fit. In the shader tab, I'll add a new material for the image. Shift A to add an image texture. Select the image you want to use and connect the texture image node to the base color. Right now, if we increase the brightness and emission as before, it will work. But the image washes out. To solve this, connect the image texture node as the emission color as well. Now all the colors in the image glow. But why stop there? We need to isolate the glowing ball. Shift D will duplicate the layer. Press Y to lock movement to the Y axis and move it forward a bit. Press Tab to get into edit mode and K to use the cutting tool. Then cut out the area you want to isolate. This will be everything you want to control the glow on. In this case, I will include some of the hand as well. Press Enter once you're done. Make sure you have the face select selected. Then click and delete the faces you want to exclude. Press Tab to go back into Object Mode and then duplicate the material. Let's name it something like Moon. Now you can tweak and edit the glow effect on your isolated layer. You can also keyframe the emission strength to get this pulse effect in an animation. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.